Whether you're coming back to Neopets after a long break or you're just starting out, making enough Neopoints to fund your horrifyingly high paintbrush goals can be more than a challenge. Neopets is an incredibly expansive site full of activities, and though it rocks, it can also be overwhelming when diving in headfirst. If you're confused, dazed, and a little nauseous from visiting Neo, this video is for you. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of making bank on Neopets. For the purposes of this video, I've split up the explanations into three tiers, beginner, intermediate, and pro, based on how much time you're willing to commit to the bit. Each section of this video will build on the one before, so no matter how many spare hours you've got, you'll be able to build up a somewhat good paycheck. Without further ado, let's start with the beginner tier, and if you've got ADHD medication near you, you should probably go ahead and take it. Alright, if you're following along with me, I'd like you to pull up two websites, jellyneo.net and the Ruffle Flash extension website, which is ruffle.rs. Both of these will be linked in the description below for easy access. Neopets is still fairly broken due to the death of Flash, and though it isn't vital, Ruffle makes the Neopets experience a lot easier. You can just download it here, you can use the Chrome extension or the Windows EXE, and it'll automatically make Flash elements work and display properly. Like I said, this isn't required, but it does make for a way smoother experience and I highly recommend it, but you don't have to. Next we have Jelly Neo. This site is going to be your Neopets Bible. If you haven't already used it, you're going to want to hover over the articles tab right here and go to Neopets dailies list. You are going to be using this every single day, so you're going to want to bookmark it if you can. I have it bookmarked just to access it super easily, but you don't have to. Doing your dailies each day is the number one most important money-making strategy on Neopets. Even if they're the only thing you can do, do them. Each daily has has a chance of awarding prizes worth millions, and you will earn at least some Neo points each day at the very least. Some won't be available to do at the very start of the game, but make sure and go through as many as you can. Trudy's surprise right here is especially important. If you do it daily for 30 days, you will receive 100,000 Neo points just for playing, and you get a couple thousand every single day. You can also get NC gift boxes from this and other cool items. It's an awesome freebie, and it really helps you out at the beginning of the game. In terms of other dailies, you're going to see a whole host of them right here. Anchor management, for example, here can give out expensive morphing potions, maractite coins, doubloons like I got here, and other neat shit that might make you over 100k instantly. This five doubloon coin here is worth a couple thousand, I believe, so that's nice. That's easy instant money just for clicking a button. The fruit machine right here has a chance of giving you neo points or a paintbrush or some pet food. It's fantastic. I believe you can even get a pet pet from it. Oh man, I almost got a triple. That fucking sucks, but I got 100 neo points and a bagus, which I really hate saying. That sounds like a fungus. That sounds like something your doctor would diagnose you after going in a public shower, but you know, it's fine. It's okay. I've never won anything from that damn machine but I still do it every single day. The Forgotten Shore requires a map here, but you can usually get that from the Money Tree, which is a free donation center, and that's really helpful. You'll usually get a couple thousand Neo points a day, but I'm unlucky today, apparently. That's nice. That's cool. It's not like I wanted to be lucky. It's not like I wanted to show you how much money you get from doing dailies today. It's fine. Some of these dailies do require Neo points to do, but you don't have to do those right away. If you want to build up a sizable chunk before you do any Neo point dailies, you can. It'll be fine. Nobody will hurt you. Things in the Sum NP required section are usually gambling except for a couple things which we'll talk about later. Same thing goes with the wheels, but I don't even listen to myself on that and I like doing Wheel of Excitement and Wheel of Knowledge, so do whatever your heart tells you to do. Neopets may encourage gambling, but they're realistic about it and the fact that you usually get fucked over for doing it. Another thing that's important to do, even if you only have a little bit of money, is the wishing well. Now the wishing well confused me at first, so I'm going to walk you through it quickly. You have to make a donation over 21 Neo points in order for your wish to be considered, and you have to use the exact name of an item. So what I like to do for inspiration is look at what other people have wished for and gotten. The rarity cannot be over 90, so you can't wish for paintbrushes and stuff, but you can make up to seven wishes a day. It's only like a hundred and something Neo points. It's really simple, really easy. And if you get one of your wishes granted, these are all million Neo point items. So you're going to be set for life. Not really. You need a lot of money in order to be considered the Neopian elite, but it's super easy to do. You're just going to want to copy and paste whatever you want here into the, what item do you wish for? And then make a wish of 21 or more Neo points. I wouldn't recommend doing over 21, but you can. I don't know why you would. And just do this seven times, and if your wish is granted, you'll get an EO mail. Another important daily action lies in the quest log right here. You can either go through Jelly Neo, or you can click this little quill in the corner. Super easy. You'll be greeted with a list of five or so quests to complete every single day. You can earn items, Neo points, and clothing from doing them, and you'll get 20k at the end if you do all the available quests. 
quests. If you do a week's worth of quests, you will receive a weekly prize. This one's actually pretty shitty, but usually they're worth a good amount of Neo points. You can check how much this prize is worth in the Jelly Neo item database, which will also be linked down below. Sometimes these items will have majorly deflated, so if you feel your prize isn't worth enough, just skip one of these daily quests to re-roll it. It may take a couple days of skipping to re-roll. I don't know what's going on with it, but you might have to be persistent with it. Make sure you click claim reward at the end of this because otherwise you won't get your fucking money and then you'll have to shake down Miss Neo points over here. It won't be a pretty scene, okay? Don't do it. Just make sure you claim all of your quests. Now that you've received all of your items from your dailies, let's go over bank accounts and how to price your shop. Even if you think you don't need one, which you do, make sure you have a Neopian bank account set up. It is vital. Each day you'll earn interest on the amount you've deposited and you can upgrade your interest amounts as you deposit more money. Make sure you collect your interest before you deposit anything, otherwise you won't be able to get it and that makes me unspeakably angry. <laughs> unspeakably fucking angry when I forget to do that. So, But as you can see, I have an interest rate of 12.5% per year. You won't get that much at the beginning, but you can work up to it pretty good. Just make sure and upgrade your account as you wish. Your Neo points also can't be stolen from random events here, which they can if they're in your normal balance. So they're safe and sound from the pan double and also that guy you were supposed to Venmo for weed a week ago. Easy peasy. You will also need a shop, which you can access right here under the shop tab and then my shop. You'll have to set it up at first. I believe it costs like 500 Neo points or something, but you can get that from your daily quests. Shop pricing is the simplest thing in the game. You'll just have to go to your inventory right here, click on your item, and then click put in your shop, and go to the shop wizard tab up here, or if you have premium, you can use the super shop wizard, which is much easier, but whatever you have is fine. You're going to want to copy and paste the item into your shop wizard, whichever one you have. If you're using the regular shop wizard, you may have to re-roll this a couple times to find the actual lowest price. Just click resubmit, but if you're using super shop wizard, you won't have to do that. And I can see that the lowest price currently for the five doubloon coin is 4,700 Neo points. What you're going to want to do is undercut the lowest price by a little bit. I know it seems shady, but that's just how Neopets works. I promise you, you're not being a dick. So I'm going to do 4,600 right here. Ignore all the other shit that's not priced in my shop. I'm lazy. And then you're going to click update. Check on it in a couple hours. If it hasn't sold, you can lower your price again, but that's simple. You don't have to do anything else. Once your item sells, you can go to your shop till and take out all of the money that you've earned. I know this is all very basic stuff, but I did say this is the very beginner excerpt of this, so you gotta bear with me, okay? Last but not least, a very simple way to build up your money is to purchase stocks. You can search for the stock market in the little Neopets text box, or you can just use Jelly Neo. I prefer Jelly Neo, but whatever you want to do works for you. I'm gonna do very simple stocks here. I know there are people who have dedicated time to making this easier, but I'm gonna do my best to help you out here. You are gonna need a couple Neo points to do this, but it's not gonna take a lot. You're just gonna basically be reinvesting the money that you earn into stocks. I would recommend waiting until you have at least a little bit in savings to do this because it will make sure you have a cushion, but I'm going to do find stocks and then the click here button and see a full list of stocks. You can only buy Neopian stocks if they're selling at 15 or above, so currently AAVL, Alien Aisha Vending Limited, is at 9, so I can't buy it at the moment. Even though it's low and it's nice and good to buy, I can't buy it. But you are going to want to look for stocks that have gone down because you want to buy low and sell high. That's just how stocks work apparently. I wouldn't know. You think I'm out here doing real life stocks? No. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do Stuff a Pet Inc. right now because that is 11% down and it's over 15 just barely, so it's pretty cheap and I'm going to go ahead and copy that. There is also a bargain list, so if you want to go there, it's a lot easier than looking through all of them, but I like looking through all of them for some reason. I don't know why. We're going to click on buy up here and type in the ticker symbol and how many shares you would like to buy. So you can only buy 1,000 shares a day, which is good. Honestly, I wouldn't want to buy more, but make sure you buy your 1,000 shares a day if you can. Again, make sure you have that cushion of Neo points, but I like to do it. It's fun. And then you will see your stocks right here. After you've purchased stocks, it's kind of a waiting game. Game, check once or twice a day to see if their market value has changed and wait until it's up a considerable amount to sell. Some people like to wait until their stocks go up wildly, like 60% or higher, but as long as you're profiting, you can sell them whenever you want. As you can see here, my fish stocks have gone down 40%, but my KBAT stocks have gone up 18.75%. So they do go up and they do drop. If you see your stocks selling at a high price, you may want to go ahead and sell them because they can drop again, but just keep an eye on them. If you want to sell them, you're going to click this button right here and sell as many as you you want. That is the simplest way to build up your Neo points without doing anything. You just have to check on them every once in a while. At the beginning of each month, you can also grab your monthly freebies here. I believe I've already gotten mine. Yeah, I have. But you will get 2,000 Neo points and each of your pets will pick out a food item at the beginning of each month, which is really fantastic. Not only are you feeding your pets, but you're getting 2,000 Neo points. Always check the prices of what you get item
item wise sometimes you can get very expensive items from this i never have but you can occasionally so make sure and check everything you get all right that is our beginner section all done let's move on to intermediate and really dig ourselves into this hellhole For the intermediate section, remember that each tier builds on the others, so use the information from the last one in addition to the intermediate section and so on. Also, I want the ad revenue, so make sure you watch the whole video. I'm kidding, mostly. I'm not kidding. This section can take anywhere from 45 minutes to a few hours, depending on how long you'd like to spend on certain aspects, and also just how lucky you are. You can tailor the amount of time you sink in however you'd like though, if you have hobbies or something, I clearly don't. First, we're gonna head on back to Jelly Neo and scroll down to the Sum NP Required section. We are going to start with the Fairyland Employment Agency. When you click on that Jelly Neo link, you will be brought to a shiny white screen. You're gonna wanna click on Basic Jobs right up here. It'll seem like you have to get a job coupon on, but you don't. Now the tricky part begins. You will see a list of various item gathering quests and all of them look tempting, but some are actually planted there to make you lose money. These are all gathering quests, so you'll have to grab items, but they are not as transparent as they seem. Use your shop wizard to check the prices and the quantities of the items needed for each job before you accept them and make sure you'll actually make a profit. This one looks like it could be good, you you ball pizza. The base reward is 4,440 and we have to gather three of these. Nope. I recommend looking for quests with at least a 1,000 Neopoint profit, but you can decide what is worth your time and what isn't. I'm not here to make that decision for you, I'm here to show you how to do it. I am filming this on a weekend, so it was incredibly hard to find a quest that would work for this today, but I am going to be doing the Find 3 Present Blocks quest. Our base reward is 5,145 Neopoints, and if I buy 3 of them, they are 800 Neopoints each. If you know basic math, which I don't, I had to pull up my calculator, that would be 2,400 Neopoints which gives us a really good profit. I'm gonna click apply for this job and what I did beforehand was pull up this shop wizard in another tab so that I was able to easily purchase the present blocks. I'm probably gonna have a full inventory, aren't I? Yeah, okay, make sure you don't do that. This is deeply humiliating actually, wow. Anyway, the reason I pulled this up in another tab other than for ease is because you get a bonus based on how fast you return the items. So you're gonna have to buy all of them and then go to status and turn them in. If you get it in super fast, you will get a big bonus. As you can see, I got about a thousand extra Neo points right here for completing it in a minute and 28 seconds. Usually I get paid more because I do it in under a minute, but you're gonna wanna pull up your tabs and have them ready before you accept the job and make sure that you have your inventory open because otherwise you'll be a clown like me. Anyway, once you've done your first quest, you can go back and accept another one up to five. Like I said, a great, great idea for people who have the time to do it because I find it's really calming and peaceful and fun and it makes you a good amount of money. All right, now we're going to move on to some super simple restocking. Usually when you hear Neopets players discuss restocking, they'll be referencing a much more involved version that we'll cover later, but this portion is going to be very easy and a lot Lot less uh, all-consuming. It makes a fairly measly profit, but it still works and it's a good time sink if you're bored at work but don't want to commit to full-on restocking. Like I said, we'll delve deeper into what that means later, but for now we're going to start at the very basics. The simplest way to get into restocking, in my opinion, is restocking for fairy quests. Many users will buy fairy quest cookies from the NC Mall, and these give out a fairy quest each day to either help with battle dome training or give your pet a fountain fairy dip. When you receive a fairy quest, you'll be asked to buy a certain item. These items are all drawn from a certain pool and thus need to be restocked pretty often. Fairies can ask for items from the toy shop, the magic shop, the pet pet shop, the grooming parlor, uni's clothing, and the card shop. I'd recommend starting with the pet pet shop right here, the magic shop, and the grooming parlor over in the Neopian Bazaar. I will again leave the link down below to the items that are in all these pools. You're going to want to have this page with you so that you can cross-reference the items in the beginning, but it won't be too hard after a while. You'll begin to memorize them. Pull up a shop of your choice. I'm going to do the grooming parlor here. And if there are no items available, you're going to want to refresh it every minute or so until you see new items pop up. It can sometimes take 10 minutes for new items to appear, 15 minutes, 5 minutes, it really just depends on your luck. And then you're going to want to look through the items on that list. If you see anything here in the shop that is on the list, you're going to want to haggle for it. If there's not anything on the list, that is okay, you can just wait for it to restock again. The reason you're going to want to do this is because you can mark these items up in your shop a considerable 
amount because so many people need them, supply, demand, all that, blah, blah, blah. And you can do this for as much or as little time as you'd like. I would say the grooming parlor is the easiest, but you know, don't hop on my grind here. I'm trying to do shit. If all of you clog the beauty parlor, I swear to God, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and stock our shop with everything we bought, just like I showed you beforehand. The blue toothbrush I bought was about 800 Neo points, somewhere around there, but I get to list it for a little under 1,200, so that is a good little profit, and if you do this multiple times, you're gonna have a good business going. Like I said, this is not gonna be the most lucrative option, but it is going to be a little bit of a money maker, and it doesn't take as much effort, you can do it very lazily, super easy, super simple, and there's also another restocking game that I like to play. You're gonna go back over to Jelly Neo or just Fairyland and go to the Healing Springs. Every 30 minutes, you'll be able to purchase a healing item. I like to do the Essence of Everlasting Apple. A lot of people need these for the Battle Dome, so they'll be willing to pay more for them because they can't get them after 30 minutes since you can only purchase one. So after I buy that, I'm gonna go ahead and put that into my shop. I already have one there because I'm very, very efficient. I just do things so fast. It's not like I've had that there for five days. Super easy, low effort, love it, fantastic. This next bit teeters on the advanced section, but I wanted to mention it here since the intensity of it varies for pretty much everyone. Neopets likes to do a lot of creative contests. Some of them are writing, some of them are art and design, and these actually give you a trophy and a rare item if you win them. The caption contest, the poetry contest, and the art gallery, I believe, all will give you a rare item. This can be a paintbrush, this can be a pet pet, this can be a coin, a stamp, anything like that, just as long as it has a good rarity to it. If you have a knack for writing or art, make sure you submit when you can. And if you go on over to the Neo boards and scroll down to creation, there is a Neopian writer's topic. It'll show you the Neopian time schedule, the poetry schedules, and you'll be able to find what specific days are coming up. So if you wanted to write a poem for uni day, you could submit it before March 4th, and that poem would have to be related to unis in order to get accepted. But these poetry schedules make it super easy to plan. You don't have to do anything Van Gogh worthy or Shakespearean. You just have to sit there and write a little bit. No need to be a professional about it. It's going to be great. Just to be clear, um, this is not under any circumstances an excuse for me to show off my four poetry contest trophies. Four of them. Four. Count them on your fingers. Four. Why do you ask? I would never brag like that. Seriously, never. I would never brag like that. But that, my friends, wraps up our intermediate section. Let's move on to our final chapter, which will be the most jam-packed. Are you ready to lose your free time to this website? Because I sure hope you are. The advanced section has no set amount of time, but it's usually going to take you a good amount of time to complete each day. Most things in this tier will also require a cushion of Neo points to use, so I recommend not jumping into this part headfirst no matter how dedicated you are, but I'm not your mom, so do whatever. The first elephant in the room is the elusive Battle Dome. I am not a Battle Dome expert, so this section will be as bare bones as possible, mostly because I don't fucking know either. The first thing you're going to have to do if you want the Battle Dome to be lucrative is, I fear, purchase premium. There's pretty much no way around buying premium if you want to go the Battle Dome route, I'm sorry to say. Premium unlocks a challenger called Jets Amaze, who you will absolutely need to heavily profit in the Battle Dome. You can do the other challengers and still make some money, but Jets Amaze is where you really want to be. I'm not a shill for Neobets. No, I am a shill for Neopets, but I am being honest with you here. You can wait until your pet is fully trained to purchase premium if you'd prefer. So, how do we train a pet? We're going back to Jelly Neo, surprise, surprise, but if you scroll down, you are going to find the Mystery Island Training School and the Swashbuckling Academy. It is up to you which one of these you choose. The Swashbuckling Academy is cheaper, but it's going to take more time, so it depends on how impatient you are. I'm very impatient, so I'm going to be showing you how to use the Mystery Island Training School, but they're pretty similar, so you can use this for either. So, Neopets battle training is pretty odd in terms of mechanics. When you click status here, you're going to be shown all of your Neopets and a list of their stats. These stats are level, strength, defense, movement, and hit points. Ignore movement, it doesn't do a damn thing, you don't need it, it's a waste of money. In order to train any given stat, your Neopets level will have to be at least half of the number of the stat you'd like to train. For example, if you wanted to train strength and your Neopet strength is currently 14, you would need to get up to level 7. This goes for every stat except endurance aka hit points which can be trained up to three times your level however if you want to go back and train any other stat you'll need to level up your pet to half your endurance i'm sure that makes no sense but when you actually do it you'll get the hang of it and neopets will stop you if you're not doing it right so just go with the flow i'm sorry anyway if you go over here to courses at the top you're going to be faced with this screen my nightmare <laughs> 
my least favorite thing on this earth. I recommend starting with training level because your Neopets will always start at level one. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click whichever stat you wanna train and then the name of your Neopet. And then we're gonna click start course. After you've done this, you're gonna be brought to the status page again and you're going to have to pay. You will pay in code stones. You can just look these up on the shop wizard if you don't have any. And then you're gonna click here to pay. Make sure it goes through because if you don't have that code stone, it won't and the timer won't start and you'll be very disappointed. I obviously don't have this code stone so it didn't start but it will start counting down if you've successfully paid. If we look here at this little graph you're gonna see a bunch of course types and your Neopets level. So if you start at Grasshopper under level 20 you're gonna be one code stone, basic is two code stones, intermediate etc etc. So if you're gonna be training make sure you stop before you get to the next course type because you're gonna have to pay more and more if you keep leveling. So stay under level 41 to train all of your stats and then once you can't train any of them anymore you're gonna want to move up to the next level. I'm sorry I know that's so complicated but I'm trying my best. I'm not a battle dome pro here. This is going to take a long time and a good amount of money but I promise you'll get your neo points back. It is important. You can also go searching for a battle dome pet in the pound. It takes a lot of time but it will save you money. I found my first battle dome pet in the pound. Dolce Bella Luna I miss you baby. This right here is my battle dome pet Fangura. Doesn't look like it right now because all of her shit looks low as hell but I promise she can beat Chet's a mace like a dream. I have her hit points at 85 currently, her attack at 91, her defense at 66, and she's somewhere over level 50. I'm not 100% sure what level she is, frankly, but that doesn't matter. It's over 50. The reason you're going to want to train your pet up to level 50 is because you unlock Lens Flare, which will cause your opponent to not be able to attack. It's super helpful. You won't lose any hit points as long as you use Lens Flare at the beginning, and you're also going to want to get some good battle dome weapons. If you use the Advent Calendar this year, the Power of Friendship, I believe, is a great battle dome weapon, but I have last Last year's battle dome weapon, which is Roxton's trusty Bowie knife, I think. Yeah, that's what it's called. I think this will run you like 300k. It's a good battle dome weapon. And then I also have ridiculously heavy battle hammer. A lot of people like to do better sets than this, but I don't because it gets the job done. The ring of the sway is also really good if you want to do that. The scroll of dark nova. Just get some battle dome weapons that'll beat a fair amount of ass. And then we have the ability of lens flare right here. So I'm going to show you what it looks like to actually battle Jets and Mace. You've probably seen a little bit of footage before, but you know, I'm going to walk you through it here. As long as long as you have premium, Jets Maze is going to be at the bottom here. You're going to want to click the lowest difficulty if you want to save time because it doesn't actually matter what difficulty you do. You're going to get pretty much the same prizes. Make sure you have both of your weapons here. Select them and select Lens Flare and then you're just going to click Fight super easy and you'll collect your rewards. Sometimes you get these code stones, sometimes you get red code stones, which are worth a good amount of money. You can get Neo Cola tokens, food, but most importantly, you have a possibility of getting Nurk mids, which will sell for about 110,000 Neo points, I believe right now. You can sometimes get one or zero, or you can get four in one single run. You can get 15 items from this each day, so make sure that you get all of your items and price them adequately in your shop, or you can gamble your Nurk mids if you get some, but don't do that. I've wasted so much money don't do that. You can possibly get a paintbrush from the Alien Aisha vending machine, but the chance is so fucking low, you will lose money, trust and believe. So that is the Battle Dome explained as quickly as I could because I want to move on to another topic I don't want to talk about. <laughs> this is going to be the more heavy version of restocking. I have to introduce you to the big guns. Restocking is by far the most lucrative moneymaker on Neopets, but it comes at a pretty hefty cost, and that is hours of your time. Hours and hours. We're taking that concept of buying and reselling that I told you about earlier and turning it into an extreme sport. Some Neopets items have a higher rarity than others, which often makes them harder to get and therefore worth more Neo points. These items restock in shops at random intervals and are usually snatched up by users to resell for a massive profit. Sounds pretty easy, right? I mean, we did it very simply before. No. You are going to need lightning fast reflexes as most items worth a large amount of money are purchased seconds after they're stocked. Some stores may barely restock items of worth, causing you to have to refresh for hours on end. But if you win the race, you'll cash out big. So what items are worth money? What shops do you go to? How do you know what to look for? There is an absolutely fantastic guide on the pet page Sanskrits. I will link this down below as well. This user put up so many fantastic resources. There is a navigation thing on the side here. It shows you all of the guidelines, whether something is beginner friendly, how much money to carry, what your profit is, how speedy you have to be, and it 
will also show you the highlights of each shop. So if you click on each navigation piece like books, battle dome collectibles, etc, etc, you will be shown every single shop in that category and the most profitable items. So you can familiarize yourself here with the most profitable images, get yourself used to it, and it will show you the names if you hover over them so you can try and get a hang of what you're going to be looking for. And then up here it'll say if it's beginner friendly, which means how easy it is basically, how much to carry with you, numbers and profit, and then there's sellability. If it says ETS, that means easy to sell, which means it'll sell quickly. If it's HTS, that means hard to sell. It'll probably sit for a while. Higher rarities will always cost a good amount in shops, but sometimes there are very expensive items put there to dupe you, so be careful. Make sure you look and familiarize yourself with the dupes as well. This guide is really just a godsend. Like I said, make sure you look down below and click on that link. But if you want to restock, you're going to be camping out in certain shops. You're going to have to reload. You can click on the shopkeeper if you want to do it that way or just reload normally and then you gotta wait and then you have to be incredibly fucking fast. Make sure you're sharp and ready to go the moment you see the shop stock. Kavino Gaming, another really amazing Neopets YouTuber, did a video about restocking. This is how fast you're gonna have to be. Yeah. Yeah. That's why this is an advanced. <laughs> You're not only competing against Kevin, but often bots that buy up expensive items at an inhuman speed. You've got competition, but of course it isn't impossible. Just use the guide, try your best, and be patient. It can take days to get anything good. All right, we're in the home stretch. Let's talk about Food Club right here. Food Club is very easy, but I'm putting it in the advanced category because it requires an aged account. The Food Club betting system becomes more lucrative as your account gets older with the amount you're allowed to bet growing larger each day that your account exists. If you're a newer account, Food Club won't be that big of a money maker, but you can still do it. A lot of Neopets users have been kind enough to create sets of bets for other players to use. I personally like to use Ensheng's bets. Ensheng is a Reddit user who creates sets of bets with certain probabilities for players to draw from. There's levels from beginner to adventurous, each one increasing in the chances for you to bust or earn nothing. These bets are awesome and incredibly easy to use. If you click on them, you will be brought to a website called Neo food.club. You're going to want to go up here to max bet and type in whatever Neopets tells you your max bet is. You can find this by going to place a bet up here and it will tell you what your max bet is based on how many days your Neopets account has been alive. Mine is currently horrifyingly low because I'm a new user so yours will go up over time. Yours might even be lower than mine but mine currently is 1,194 Neo points. so I'm going to go back over here and type in that number and then you're just going to click set bet amounts to max and you will have all of these amounts done for you. And then you're going to click place bet. And once this loads, your bet will be in there. Make sure you go ahead and place all 10 of these bets. Otherwise, the probability won't work the same. This number right here that you see, the total possible winnings, you're not going to get all of that. You might not even get anything, but it is a good money maker, even if you just bet a little bit. The rounds will end each day sometime in the evening, and you'll be able to collect your winnings right here under collect winnings. Shocker. Wow. If you have any, if it says you have no winning bets, you lost. I'm sorry. But these are pretty old ones, so I'm going to go ahead and collect them. I made a 11k at some point. Don't remember doing that, but this is what it will look like if you don't have any winning bets. Just check at the end of the day. Godspeed. Good luck. But like I said, you can make millions off of this if you have an old account, but if you have a new account, it'll probably be more like that 11k that I showed you unless you hit it really big. It's just a game of chance pretty much completely, so do with that what you will. But those are all of the most lucrative ways to make money on Neopets other than, you know, hacking, don't do that. As always, make sure that there are no events running. Currently the Neopies are going on, I don't think they'll be going on when I post this, but if there's an event running, make sure you get your prizes for the day. That is where we're going to end today's video. I hope this was very helpful for you. If there are any other Neopets guides you'd like me to cover other than the Battle Dome, I'm working on learning, okay, I'm trying, but I don't want to give you false information because I don't fucking know how it works. Let me know because I would love to do more Neopets guides. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you with my whole heart, and I will see you on next time. Thank you to all of my members. If you would like to have your name at the end of the videos, you can do the little YouTube membership thing and you'll be able to join the channel. It's like $2. I'm trying to shill now. Sorry. I love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay wonderful, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.